Yeah, good day, mate. Are you going all right? Yeah. This is another joke about uh, an Australian bloke who um, actually living with a Sudanese bloke in the same suburb. Every day, Sudanese came out of his house, going to work. They meet with this Aussie bloke. They go to the station together, looking for the, the train. They catch the train and go to work and stuff like that, and then come back together and sing like that. One day, the Aussie bloke came out of the house. He was going to work. Met with the Sudanese bloke. The Sudanese bloke was actually a bit upset. He wasn't happy that day. And, you know, as the blacks felt sympathy to him, he would start, start asking him, Hey, bro, how you going? Right? What's happening to you today? You don't seem happy. Anything happened? Anything wrong? He says, No, nah, I'm all right. You know, just a bit of situation going on, but everything's fine. He says, Are you married? He says, No, nah, I'm not married, but I'm preparing to get married. Are you preparing to get married? Well, lucky to you. Mate, if I was single, I would have fucking stay without getting married because marriage is a fucking addict, you know? Uh, you start asking Sudanese bloke, hey, well, mate, he, how do you guys get married anyway? Eh? I want to know. The Sudanese bloke says, mate, you know, getting married is a very difficult thing in, in African culture. Getting married is paying dowry, two families sitting down together negotiating the wedding, you know, going to shores to get blessed, you know, having a, a big reception and shit like that. Oh, the black was fucking staring, what? Hey, how much is that gonna cost anyway? He says, you know, the dowry loan might gonna cost about fifty thousand dollar, okay? The reception maybe fifteen, alright? And the shorts and the other thing might cost another ten thousand dollars, so it's about maybe seventy five to to eighty thousand. What? Man, if I got eighty thousand, I would have fucking paid off for my mortgage, alright? And buy a house, okay? And spend that money for myself so I can invest the money and get money out of it and live in a good life. Fuck mate, you're fucking out of your mind. You're spending eighty thousand dollars getting married? Unbelievable. And what is that what is that for anyway? For just a woman to come and stay with you in the house? What are you guys thinking about? Is this a kind of business or something? Well, bro, you know, I gotta tell you an idea. You should fucking find yourself a, a, nosy, a nosy girl, get married to her, and settle down, and forget about all this thing. You know how much is that gonna cost you? Sydney's were like, what? How much is it gonna cost? Mate, you know what? It's not gonna cost you anything. Just talking, you know, go to a fucking coffee shop, buy a fucking coffee, a donut, you know, have fun and talk nicely, and everything will fucking flow. Everything will fucking flow nicely, and there you're married. <laughs>